Hey, it's a doom laser or doom beam something. It's a parabolic dish reflector made of this. Um, what do you call it? Like a God damn it, the name escapes me right now. It's a um, Excuse me. It's it aluminized plastics. Um, mylar. It's mylar. Aluminized plastic. And I have glued it into a UFO, UFO sled. Like a, when you little kiddies go riding this thing in the winter. And I have to get rid of the handles and install this vacuum part. And the vacuum goes into this little dinky thing. Um, if you have, if you ever like to tinker with anything, get get one of these. Uh, contact your. Chinese supplier, it's cheap and really like a. You, there's no reason to not have this, and this is like a 12 volt, but it runs just fine on 9 volt battery. And I even made this little switch there. So it takes a li little while, maybe a minute or so, to vacuum up this thing but and the reason I did this because other people had problems with uh, they had did few few things uh, one was like a fiber so someone fiberglass the bottom side of the dish and and he had a problem with the adhesion and the, or ra rather there was too much adhesion and he, he, it was difficult to uh, handle this delicate uh, plastic wrap so I decided to for that like that sounds too much work I'm just going to like like as you saw the duct tape it's I made this like in, in afternoon and it works it's not like uh, I wouldn't say it. it's very good uh, reflector and I wouldn't even call it uh, even you can clearly see my face in here it's not very good picture so I couldn't use this for uh, uh, like a super sized uh, telescope like there's other wrinkles but it does work for uh, burning a stick yay hence the name doom laser oh, rather doom beam fun thing and this pump Double as a valve, so as long as this hose is connected, uh, it won't pass gas back through. Although it seems it's leaking a little bit, so it's going to undo itself in a moment. But yeah, go outside, have this little dinky thing in your pocket, and put this outside and do your thing with the death beam. Yeah. One thing, just a little tinkering. Uh, one more thing I want to show you. It's not uh, like uh, anything related with the telescope or the reflector, but something I have been doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Something I have been doing for the 
whole summer. Not because it's complicated, but because it's really slow going. It's a wing. And this time I'm planning to. Where's the thing? I'm planning to make it into radio control. So, which side is this? Here. So, excuse me. <coughs> Professional isn't here. It hasn't been here though. So, yeah, that's wrong size. Oh, damn it. Well, you get the idea. <coughs> Things I have been collecting for the, and I have, I have the transmitter in here somewhere. But yeah, okay. I'll, I'll show you the flight control. <coughs> flight control. Got it. Flight surfaces. Yeah. Here we go. This little dingy thing is the. And I was like struck with uh, design paralysis for the long longest time. It was like most difficult thing was to start because I don't ha have any plans. So I just had a bunch of sticks here and yeah, go for it. I'm like, uh, I don't know. So I just had to make a call to this design. And I even had uh, some kind of idea from the last wing that it would be approximately same size, but it ended up a little bigger in the fabrication process. Just randomly cut a piece and look, uh, this looks all right. I make make this size. Yeah, and here's a little details. Bear, bearing surface. Here's a hole to accommodate the shaft. <coughs> and um, it's a little bit complicated actually. Uh, can I find the right piece? Excuse me while I tinker. Ah, here it is. In order, uh, because it, I designed this in a such a way, I think it goes here, in a such a way that if this, uh, is it aileron? Aileron? If it's not good for something or it, it breaks, I can change it without, without destroying the rest of the wing, so I can I, I cannot do it with one hand, but basically I have to, have to make this in a such a way that I can pull this pin out and as a such it's not that big, a, big of a problem but actually I of course I have to complicate things and make this uh, wingtip device and here you can see little hole with uh, so you can pull the pin out and get the Ailer run out. So I hope I can finish this wing at least in this summer. This, these ribs I have to still glue, and that doesn't take that much of time. I just have to uh, basically have to take a moment and finish this, and then I can like wrap it in paper. Uh, this is like a tissue paper that has been shrunk over the um, the frame, and then I have just lacquered over it, and the rest of the wing is going to be the same. Uh, this is actually like some craft paper, so even though it works at the time um, it's like even more delicate than this uh, tissue paper but I, I hope it's not like 
so delicate you can can't handle it in the field. Um, and I haven't even started with the like, like I said I made this whole thing up. There's no dimensions. Uh, th this is about approximately one meter. And uh, just made something up. The fuselage doesn't exist. And there's no I have like a, well no I, I don't have any idea what the fuselage is going to be like once the wing is finished. Um, I'm planning to do like a start at the start we start start with words. I'm going to make it make it a glider at first and see how that behaves but I also have like a some piece of shit motor brushless somewhere so maybe that's going to end up in the plane at some point but who knows and this is like a nickel meter hot, hot rod hot rod yeah it's nickel battery, so it's not lipo. But I was thinking because it's not; it's just a, a glider. Uh, that was the idea at first, uh, so that would be plenty enough for gliding. But if I'm going to make it in the uh, power, powered with the propeller and also, uh, I have to get more crap. For this, this is my kitchen table. It's like 100% dedicated for testing. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So that's about it for this time. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's like literally at my backyard. <laughs> How about that? <laughs>